Let's learn how to make music on the TI Inspire with Microbit. Let's code four bars of Frere Jacques in Python on the CX2. One note has the note letter, followed by the octave. The note and the octave taken together determine the frequency of the sound. The second part of the note is the number of ticks the note is played. That's the duration. A single note is enclosed within single quotes, and a colon separates the note from the duration. The five-line staff is what composers write notes on. The cursive letter G shows the staff line for G4. The first bar of Frere Jacques, the notes are C4, D4, E4, and C4 again. To understand how to code this, we need to know a quarter note gets one beat, that's four ticks of time, and a half note gets two beats, that's eight ticks of time. The staff is broken up into bars. The staff bars make it easier for musicians to read the music while playing. Vertical lines, or bars, chunk the music into bite-sized pieces. This staff is separated by three vertical lines, making four bars. The time signature describes how the music should be played. This staff has a time signature of 4-4 four, four time. The top number describes how many beats per bar. This staff has four beats per bar. The bottom number is which note gets the beat. The quarter note gets the beat on this staff. The moderato marking on the staff is the tempo in beats per minute. The beat is how you would tap your foot. This number, along with the time signature, sets the speed of the music. The speed and number of bars determines how long the piece will last. Let's code one note from the staff. This is a half note of G in the fourth octave. Since it is a half note, it gets two times four, or eight ticks of time. Here is how this note is coded. Do you see the single quotes and colon? Fortunately, these are entered for you when you choose the note from the menu. G4 is from the staff, and eight is because it's a half note. Well, let's enter the entire code in Inspire's Python editor. I'll start a new program and import the microbit module from the menu. Next, I'm going to write a few comments to remind myself that a quarter note is four ticks of time, a half note is eight ticks of time, and a whole note is 16 ticks. Next, I'll go to the music menu and I'll select a template for all of the notes in the song and name it Ferrejaka. Then I go back to the music menu and I go to the notes and I choose the octave that I'm interested in and choose the desired note. Notice that in between each note there is a comma. Notice that the note is pasted in its entirety with the note type, the octave, and the number of ticks. If you need to edit the number of ticks, simply backspace and enter in the correct one. Here I've put a rest at the end of the first bar that's very brief. I've also cut and paste the first bar into the second bar since it's identical. This is a nice feature that I can select, copy, and paste. I've separated each bar of music as a line within the list of notes. This makes it more readable and it makes it similar to the actual staff. Here I'm finishing the third bar of the music and again I'll put in a rest of one tick. That's a very fast amount of time. It's a sixteenth of a note. And I'm going to paste that second part again. Lastly, I will put in a method 
that plays Fair Jaca. I'm all set to run this now. Notice on the version 2 on the back is a speaker. This is what makes our music. Let's plug it into our calculator using the microbit cable and switch back to our program and choose Run from the menu. Let's change the tempo of the music. This piece is 92 beats per minute. The method set tempo under the music menu has two parameters. The first parameter sets how much time in ticks one beat lasts. The second sets the number of beats per minute. Together, these set the tempo or speed of the piece. From the microbit menu, we'll go to Music, and then go to Methods, and choose Set Tempo. Four ticks for a quarter note and 92 beats per minute. Let's run it and give it a listen. You can hear that it's noticeably slower. You might want to connect an external amplified speaker to your microbit. To do this, you need an auxiliary cable with a 3.5 millimeter phono plug and two alligator clip patch wires. Connect the ground to the upper part of the phono plug and the pin zero to the tip of the phono plug. Use the auxiliary patch cable to connect into the amplified speaker. Since the speaker is amplified, you should probably turn off the micro bit speaker, and you can do that under the speaker menu and speaker off. You should also turn it down. There's a volume control under the music and methods. You'll find a set volume and this ranges from 0 off to 255 full on loud. I'm setting this one to 50. Let's listen to it. Well, now you're all set to code your own songs on the microbit using the TI Inspire CX2. Happy coding!